So on this problem it says two angles are complementary. The measure of one angle is 20 more than twice the measure of the other angle. Find the measures of the angle. All right, so first of all, we know they're complementary, so therefore we know that they're going to add up to close, supplementary add up to 180, so therefore complementary, remember, add up to 90 degrees. Yeah, exactly. So we know that the two angles add up to 90, right? And we don't really need to be concerned about what their exact measure. All we need to do is let's go ahead and label them, all right? And let's just call one angle, um, let's call this uh, A, and let's call this angle B, OK? So it says measure of one angle is 21 more. So when we think of doing 21 more of something, what are you doing? What operation? Add, subtract, multiply, divide? What operation? If I say I have 21 more dollars than you, what are you gonna? How much? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna multiply the amount of money I have? You're gonna add, right? So 21 more means plus 21. Okay. Have a seat, please. So you're going to be adding 21. Then it says the measure of one angle is 21 more than twice the measure of the other angle. So if I'm saying you're twice something, what what operation are you doing then? Multiplying, Multiplying by what? By 2. So it's, it's 21 more than twice the angle. Now, they didn't tell us what angle that was, right? So we can just assume, let's just pick an angle. Let's say if I double the angle, add 21, that's going to equal, well, all it says is the measure of one angle is 21 more than twice the measure of the other angle, right? Find the measures of the angle. So it says two angles are complementary. The measure of one angle is 21 more than twice the measure of the other angle. So I have 2b plus 21 equals a, equals the other angle. Right? Here's one angle. Here's a. OK, oh, I'm sorry. Here's angle B. How is angle B, how is angle A related to angle B? Well, angle A is 21 degrees more than double the angle. Yes? So angle A is 21 degrees more than double the angle of B. So what we have here is then you could also say that um, so now we, um, we look at this and we say, all right, if here's A, and then you could say, obviously, B is going to equal B. Well, what do you know about angles A and angle B? They have to add up to give you what? What? 90 degrees. So therefore, you could say angle A plus angle B equals 90 degrees. Well, what is angle A equal to? Angle A is equal to twice the angle B plus 21. So now you can write this as? 2b plus 21 plus b equals 90 degrees. So therefore, we have 3b plus 21 equals 90. Subtract 21. And therefore, you have 3b equals, let me see, that would be 69. No. 79, 80, 70, 80, yeah, 69. Divide by 3, divide by 3, and that's going to be, anybody, anybody, anybody? So that's going to be 23 degrees. But they said find the measures of the angles. So if B equals 23 degrees, what is A going to equal? So now what we have to do is we have to go back and plug in the measure of angle B, which is 23 degrees, plus 21 equals A. Well, 2 times 23 is 46, plus 21 equals A. 67 degrees equals A. Now let's add up 67 plus 23. Does that equal 90? Does it? 
Yeah. So therefore, there's what we found. All right. Good question. Is there another question anybody would like me to go over on these? 